rocky. It's really rocky. It's rocky. <laughs> and I can't hold on. <laughs> Hello my friends, today we are going on an adventure and of course I'm bringing you along for the ride. First off, I gotta get ready for the day. It is a beautiful sunshiny day out. I am so happy and so I'm just gonna get ready with you guys. Then I'm thankfully getting my hair done. I have not dyed this hair since late November and uh, it's May so I am in need. Uh, very excited. These roots are problematic. I have not been able to wear my bangs as front bangs in at least 10 days, so your girls do. Um, and my mom might even be changing her hair up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Exciting. And then we are going with Sir Benny Boops to a suspension bridge. Now, what is a suspension bridge, you might ask? It is a bridge that is suspended, so I hope that clears things up for you. Like I said, it is a beautiful sunshiny day. Now the weather is supposed to potentially turn. The forecast is uncertain. So I'm wearing this cute little like tropical pink and yellow floral top for now, though I might change, remains to be seen. But I'm just gonna like go forth with a positive attitude that the sun is going to remain shining and therefore I'm going to start my routine off this morning with sunscreen. We are heading into the summer months, my friends. It is important to put sunscreen on all year round because you can get sunburnt through your window, you can get sunburnt in your car, you can get sunburnt on a gray day, but you can absolutely get sunburnt in the sun. So uh, with the summer months ahead, please, please, please practice sun safety. It is so important. I have always been super passionate about sun safety. This fair skinned girl takes this ish seriously. I get a great tan. I'm not, I'm not even gonna front. I get a great tan. Um, but I choose not to. I, if I want a tan, I put fake tanner on and otherwise I will rock my fair skin because all skin tones are beautiful. And I really just don't think that the damage sun does to your skin is worth getting a tan, my friends. Especially with such great faux products out there nowadays. Early premature aging, uh, sunspots and damage to the skin, and most importantly, raising your risk of skin cancer. These things are not worth it. And so leading into the summer months, I just really want to encourage you to take your sun safety seriously, especially as I get older. It's something I think more and more about literally on a daily basis. And so I'm starting the routine off strong. This is the body sunscreen I'm going to be using. Okay, first off, the packaging is just really nice. I love this pump top. This is the Hawaiian Tropic. What, what is this one called, Mom? That is the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Mineral Sunscreen SPF. 30. We love a mineral sunscreen. It does come in 30 and 50. The smell is unmatched. Like, <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> it's so tropical. Like, this is your sunscreen when you wear it. <laughs> Correct, Molly. <laughs> that is actually exactly what it is. No, I was trying to say this is your perfume when you wear it. Like, you will be smelling good all day. It has 12 hour hydration, SPF 30 or 50 options. It is weightless, like it feels so nice and lightweight on your skin, which is honestly for me a texture person, like the biggest problem I've had with sunscreen in the past is it's just too thick and cakey on my skin and I don't like the way it feels. So I love that this one is so weightless. It's cruelty free, water and sweat resistant, reef friendly. There are no parabens or chemical filters, also love that. And so important, this unique mineral formula does not leave a white cast, which is extremely difficult to find. And because I can't see, like I can't see when it leaves a white cast and I don't know to keep rubbing it in. And so I love that this one, I don't even have to worry about that. So now I'm gonna sunscreen my face before I head into doing my makeup. I have two options here. This one is tinted. So this is great if I wasn't gonna be wearing foundation, like if I was just spending the day by the pool or on the beach. I think this would be a really great option, but because I am layering my makeup over top of it, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. These are dermatologist tested. They are oil free, so they are not gonna clog your pores. Very important. Mama B, what's the name on this one? That one is the Wine Tropics Silk Hydration Weightless Face Visage 30. Boom, nailed it. I'm also gonna list more product benefits on the screen and in the description box below in case you're curious. And you can buy these at all the stores you know and love, like Shoppers Drug Mart, London Drugs, and Walmart. I will also leave a link down below to where you can pick some up if you are interested in getting sun safe this summer. Also, when you're doing your face, something I always do is I take the extra that's on my hands from my face sunscreen and I do my ears. We always forget about our little earsies. So 
We don't want no sunburn on the ears, okay? All right, now I'm gonna move into my makeup. I'm gonna be putting a matte foundation on now because in the summer months when I'm getting sweaty, I just like to use matte foundation, especially now that I have front bangs. And the one that I'm using is super long wearing and I'm gonna be having a long day at the hairdressers and at the suspension bridge, so love that. And because it's matte, I like to use a sponge to add some extra hydration into the skin. So this suspension bridge that we're going to, I have never brought Ben to. I brought Gallup multiple times and being the steady Eddie that Gallup is, like he like had zero reaction, such a sweet boy. He definitely like has more opinions of things, doesn't he Neve? Oh yeah. He has strong opinions. And um, he did, if you saw this video that I recently posted, he did have a fear getting on the cruise ship um, like of the gangplank the first time he was fine every other time but the first time he was a little nervous So I am expecting that he might get a little bit nervous The important thing to always remember about service dogs is yes, they are service dogs. They are highly trained But at the end of the day, they're dogs and you've got to give them grace. They make mistakes They are not perfect and you can't expect them to be he would never have probably been on a cruise ship He probably never was on the ship Exactly and it's same with like suspension bridge right like when would he have ever been on a suspension bridge in his four years of life almost you know so it's important to expose it, them it's to important everything. to keep exposing them to things as your service dog i'm somebody who does a lot in life you know we all know this i never sit still and so it's important for me that i keep exposing him to lots of things and so today we're gonna do that and uh, I'm really excited. I'm just gonna bring lots of treats for him to make sure I'm keeping him like motivated and comfortable because nothing motivates or comforts this guy like food, I'll tell you that much. If that ain't relatable, I don't know what is. Um, and so I'm not expecting him to be perfect. Um, Gallup never had reactions to quite literally anything, anything in life, still still except don't. cheese. Um, and, don't even say it. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Is he looking at me now? Uh, no, he's actually, he must be sleepy. Look at this man over here, I don't even know where he is. Oh god, we've lost Gallup. <laughs> <laughs> the old man with dementia's wandered off. <laughs> he has no dementia. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that, he, that dog is getting younger. <laughs> I know, Ben has really injected some youth into that old man, I tell you. But yeah, so I, uh, I remember back with Gypsy. By the way, I've been getting such bad breakouts. My acne is getting worse um, these past few months. And so I think I might go on acne medication again, potentially. Um, I did a six week round of acne medication when I was 18 and it completely took away my acne for 10 years. And now all of a sudden I'm 28 and it's coming back with a vengeance. So I don't know, I'm talking to my doctor about it. We're looking at other options first, but the acne medication I used is quite rare like it's not a very common one and um it's not like super harsh it's a really light one so and it worked and it really worked so she's totally open to doing it she's like yeah that's let's definitely look at that in like three months so we're just kind of adjusting the medication i'm on because we think maybe that's causing it and uh we'll see so you you probably might have noticed that i have more acne recently but you know such is life it's a part of it you know um, is it concealed though? Because I'd like it to be concealed. So I remember when Gypsy developed a fear. She developed a fear of the school bus because there was a student that would have temper tantrums on the school bus. And I, I went to a you know, school for the blind and there was a lot of people with disabilities outside of just blindness. Like every student was legally blind, but a lot of students had other issues as well. And so this student was um, six foot three and like 350 pounds and had the mind of a nonverbal two-year-old. And I can't imagine how difficult that was for him. And so, you know, he didn't know how to communicate properly how he was feeling. He would have temper tantrums like a two-year-old does, except in an adult body, and it would scare her. And so she developed a major fear of the school bus, which was problematic, because obviously I had to go to school and home every day. Moving on to my loose setting powder. So my bus ride was an hour and a half there, an hour and a half home, and he would throw tantrums. And this, you know, poor kid would, would have tantrums majority of the days, majority of the rides. And so 
she ended up developing a fear which, you know, was totally understandable. For me, you know, I, A, understood what, what this boy was going through and why he was doing it. And B, I also could put on like soundproof headphones. And so for her, it was, it was really difficult and she developed a fear and I'll never forget, like, you know, I called the guide dog school. They came out, they reworked her, they trained me on how to help her deal with fears if she develops them um, so that it doesn't, you know, become something bigger and more dangerous. And so I'll never forget the principal because they like came to the school to help because obviously that's where the bus is. And uh, the principal was like, if it's a service dog, shouldn't she not have any fears? And I was like, no, that's not how this works. Like, they're not robots, you know? And I think a lot of people think they are. Like a lot of people either get a service dog expecting a perfect creature or look at service dogs and expect them to be perfect creatures. And they're not. They're living, breathing, real animals. And they're highly trained, they're highly vetted. They, they don't graduate with any serious fears, but that doesn't mean they couldn't develop them. Like at any point in life, humans can develop fears and it's gonna be the same for dogs. Moving on to my bronzer. So, you know, if the fear becomes super serious, they might have to retire early, which is why you wanna get on top of making sure that you, you know, help them overcome it. So I'm really passionate about exposing Ben, especially cause I got him as a bit of an older dog. I'm exposing Ben to as many things as possible because that's, that's my life. So today we are exposing him to a suspension bridge after many hours at the hair salon. Cause Lord knows bleaching your hair takes time. Okay. Who's that? Do you hear this little pitter patter? Is that my Galloper <laughs> Gooseman? Is that my Galloper Gooseman? There he is. He says, I heard you say cheese three minutes ago. <laughs> it took me a while to get up because you know I'm older. He's going to his bed. All right, um, if I keep talking to you while I do my makeup, we're never gonna get on with the rest of the day. So you can watch me keep doing my makeup, but I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a shush my mouth so we can actually get going to this hair appointment. Here we see some sped up footage of Molly finishing off her makeup. Okay, makeup is done. I just put a really like simple light glowy look on and then a nice comfortable pink lip. And then I did change, I did, because I figured I'm gonna be sitting for like four to six hours. So I just want to be uber comfy. So I'm just wearing this like cozy onesie with a nice little baby tee under it. And that's my hair salon look. I don't know what I'm gonna wear to the suspension bridge. Maybe this, maybe the other outfit. Maybe we'll get a third outfit for the day. It remains to be seen, but let's go get our hair done. Here we see some sped up footage of Benix guiding Molly to the hair salon. We are ready to get this hair started. I'm with my hair queen, Armine, and uh, I just surprised her with a box of chocolates, so she's putting those away. And then we're gonna get going. I'll see you when I look better. Here's some super cute footage of Molly's head full of foils at the hairdresser. Uh, hello, the hair is feeling fabulous, okay? I'm so obsessed. I cut like an inch and a half off the length and my bangs can be bangs again, like front bangs, not awkward side swept bangs because they're too long. And I'm blonde. I'm so happy. It's like the perfect summer hair. Um, I am in outfit three of the day. And uh, as you can tell, the weather has in fact turned as the weather predictor gods uh, led me to believe it would. So I am bundled in this adorable cardigan in fact look look at the back sunshine so we're like we have the sunny vibes we just don't have the sun at the moment but that's okay so we have arrived we haven't like headed into the park yet um but we're gonna take benny boops in he's right down here that guy that big dude right there yes you uh so we're gonna take him in there and we're just gonna like have a nice little wander around you kind of have to go over the suspension bridge to like get to the bulk of the park. It's just like really nice walking pads. It's really beautiful. And I, being blind, actually get in for free because they're like, yeah, no, people are literally just paying for the beautiful view and you can't see it. So you get in for free. Are you rolling? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going into the park and I met Molly, Hi. who works here. Molly with an IE, another Molly. Oh my God. <laughs> and she was literally just watching my videos before coming to work today. 
Oh we, my god. We just took a photo <laughs> together. <laughs> this is crazy. Now you're gonna see yourself next time you watch yes, one of my videos. Yes, when I watch one of your videos later today. <laughs> she said I'm her favorite YouTuber, Mom. I know, though, she's so sweet. She was so she's sweet. She's so nice. She was like freaking out. It was so cute. I love when that happens. Oh, my heart. Oh, that brightened my mood. I was chilly and tired, but now I feel good in my heart, warm and fuzzy inside. Thanks, Molly. You know that song, I've got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> I was just gonna sing it. I was like, I've got a pocket, got a pocket full of Campbell. Gonna... <laughs> I do. I'm oh, always gonna be so excited. Kiblets and bits? Do you want a kiblets and bits? Yeah? Okay, you deserve a kiblet. Hey. Oh, that's no. not allowed. Pressed. 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 She does a press. Yes, I can feel you moving around to your leash. You don't trick me. <laughs> you love Skibble so much. Press, gentle. Hey, gentle. Yeah. I love bringing Ben to new places because he just loves adventure and he loves exploring he loves trying new things and every time i bring him to like a new place he's never been before you can just feel through the harness handle his excitement and i know like other guide dog users will know exactly what i'm talking about like he's just so focused i can like feel his drive and his focus through the handle when he's somebody that's very much like myself gets bored easily mm -hmm. so if like we're just doing the same route to my gym that we do three times a week. He can sometimes like drag his paws, you know, like sometimes be like, oh, this is so boring. Can we do something more interesting with our time? And so I can feel already just like having walked 30 feet into the park that he is on his A game, especially because he knows he's going to get some cooplets and bits. Neither of us know where we're going. So I'm just letting you guys figure it out. We're just kind of roaming to be honest. He's doing a great job. He's bringing you along the edge. <laughs> yeah. He's bringing you every edge there is. <laughs> He's like, where am I supposed to go? It all looks like earth. It all looks like nature. Doesn't it all look like the nature? Okay, so we have made it to the iconic suspension bridge, the whole point of this video. Memory serves me correctly. There's very steep stairs that yes. I have to go down. Yes. And, um, it, the bridge does shake yes. because it is suspended. It's just, my mom will show you, give you some B-roll of the view and the drop from this bridge. There, it's like two people wide. It's like five feet wide. It's five feet wide. That would be my guess. And it's very long. It scoops down, so you go down the stairs, across, and scoops back up. It's very long. Um, what else? What other visual descriptions can I give you guys? There is like wires on either side, so, or like a fence kind of thing. So you can't like fall off, which is ideal. Um, now, Ben might be completely fine. Um, he might get really excited. He might get a little bit nervous. We just have to see. So I don't know what his reaction will be. So I'm walking into this like prepared to work with him on whatever his reaction might be. Rocky. It's really rocky, it's really rocky. <laughs> and I can't hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not liking the molly. I think he needs to give him a treat now. Ben, ben. Hey, I've got treats for you, remember? He, he, like he's just, he's worried about you, you know? I'm worried about me. This is very, <laughs> this rocky. Is very rocky. This is the most rocky it's ever been. This is like way worse than any shipper. Come on, Benny. Hey, treats. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. I'm oh, shit. Oh, he's wagging his tail now. He's getting treats every time I say good boy. Every time I say good boy, he's like, yeah, 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 treats, treats, what? Good boys get treats, you know, mom. <laughs> He'll do anything for treats, eh? <laughs> okay, Molly, I'm going to show people what it's like. Okay. Okay, okay, guys. This is crazy. This goes way, 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 way down. Oh, it's so rocky. It is extremely rocky. It's like, crazy. I've been here a few times. Rocky. This is the other side. So beautiful, but rocky. Okay. <laughs> Hello. He's doing, He's doing great. great. <laughs> He's doing better than me. You can hear the water like below. Is there a stream below? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a river below. 
there we go there it is very 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 far down it's so beautiful the mountains oh it's amazing when i was on a cruise recently like ben was the only reason i was able to like walk in a straight line and he wasn't at all phased on the rocky days at sea so i'm actually not i guess i'm not surprised that he's doing so well with this because it's i think it's similar to a rocking thing. ship it's, it's just the view i wasn't sure how he'd feel about looking at the view but he's fine he, he's doing so well he's i think like... also he knows there's treats available so he's like maybe sometimes i'll act scared to get a little bit of kiplets <laughs> but i'm really just fine <laughs> right you're so good you're just so good you're such a good dude he says i don't know what you thought the big deal was about this mom it's actually kind of fun <laughs> well, you know, those treats really did help, didn't they? Okay, I'm going to pan around just to show people again how gorgeous this is and how far up we are. And it's very shaky. I don't know if you can see it. I've never been on anything as shaky as this, to be honest. Oh, I think that's the purple. Oh, no hands. <laughs> Well, I can't hang on, so we're both in the same boat. Okay. <laughs> it's so rocky. I don't know if we're making it more rocky. It's crazy. Ben's just fine. I'm struggling. <laughs> you struggling? Ben's not, but I am. So we're off the bridge. Um, I'm like literally out of breath. I know. <laughs> that was intense. Um, I'm still like, like I'm like I'm I'm a Rick Rockin', okay? Uh, he was just fine. I gave him some more kibbutz and bits. That's really all he cares about. He found this very unriveting. He was like, this was meant to be my excitement for the day, ma'am. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was really looking forward to this all day. That was what you got me. Sorry, buddy. Good job. Okay, You're such good a good job. boy. You're such You're a good amazing. boy. I can't believe I ever doubted you, huh? Can't believe I ever thought you'd do anything but perfection. I know. <laughs> the tail's wagging there. <laughs> he says, I'm such a good boy. I'm such a good boy. Started the day with sunscreen, ending it with hands over the fire. <laughs> I had hope. <laughs> My hope was dashed. <laughs> I don't know what you thought. <laughs> oh, it just looks so pretty. My mom was like, just get some footage of you. I'm like, of oh, what? She's like, just you sitting there. <laughs> okay. The two of you, you look so cute. Yeah, we are cute. The hunt continues. <laughs> he found uh, more. There's your paw caught in the leash. Well, you want to do the cliff walk next? <laughs> I don't know about that. This is the cliff walk. And trust me, it's quite the cliff. Hmm, what do you think? I want to do it. Oh god, okay. And the sun is coming out. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we're going to do this? Yeah. You're very brave. Okay, guys. It's very steep, okay? I know you can't see, Molly. Hold on to the railing, whatever you do. <laughs> Hold on to the railing. I wish I didn't suggest this. This is worse than the bridge, okay? Okay, it's a little hard to film and go down. <laughs> I think he's equipped. Oh, He's taking it nice and slow for me. Yeah. By the way, the sun's coming out. <laughs> okay. Now you go to the right. Okay, put your hand over the railing. Oh, more stairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a whole load. Okay. Okay, put your hand up there. Thank you. Are you holding it? Oh, okay. Okay, go, go. <laughs> okay, so this is a very narrow. Hello, what are you saying? This is super narrow. I'm trying to decide if I should go. I think I'll go first. Oh, yeah. You're going to go behind me. It's very back. narrow. Okay. What was I thinking of as a mother suggesting this? Telling me this is really steep. Here's some sped up footage of Benix guiding Molly down the stairs. 
It's a beautiful view. It's 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 oh my gosh. That's water down there. Have one with nature. You are. We're the only ones out here. Hopefully that's not for a reason. Just us. Okay, there's the water down there. Looking so beautiful. This is gorgeous. He is completely unfazed despite the fact that it's super narrow and a large drop below us. He's like focused and doing perfect. The sun is shining now. We just did the cliff walk, which was that thin plank, once again suspended, and he has zero fear of heights, that's for sure. He had no problems. This is one of those situations that you can't quite train a guide dog for. You just have to see how they do once you, you know, face the situation. And I'm so pleased with him. Like, he did great. He was focused, completely unfazed. Like, he was like, you thought this was a big deal? There's no, there's nothing. And here's some sped up footage of Benix guiding Molly around the park. It really is beautiful. Lots of greens, very foresty, very summer camp vibes, in my opinion. He's doing so well. He is. I'm getting disoriented. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I'm kind of going around in circles. I'm done. You're done. Three days done. Watch. Yeah, okay, you're good. That was me. I'm getting nervous. Watch. I, watch. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. It's more stressful when people say things like that. Oh. Good boy. Oh, he's doing so well. There's going to be steps going down. This is grandma, I know. <laughs> you can hang on to the right if you want. There. Oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> that sounded not bad. That sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching his skills. He's so good. Oh, Molly, the scenery is so beautiful. There's like a lake on the left. It's gorgeous. The sun is out. Um, the weather has been on a, a roller coaster ride today. As much as my emotions at times, you know? I feel like everybody can relate to that sentiment. But I'm very glad I'm wearing my sunscreen now. No burn over here, ladies. Here Mom and I are grabbing dinner. So we are having a big plate of truffle fries and we're sharing the um, seafood chowder, not clam chowder, seafood chowder. I love both of these things, but I've never had them here, so I'm very excited. The food is so good. This clam chowder, sorry, seafood chowder, is phenomenal. And so are the truffle fries. Oh my God. I'm also very glad we're sharing though, because this is huge. Your hair looks so cute, Molly. Oh, we changed the tone. So usually we go like neutral, but today we went warm, like a more honey. So I love just it. Just thought I'd change it up slightly. And in July, you will be seeing the hair transformation that I have spent years bleaching my hair to achieve. So get excited. Near some b-roll from the car, looking out at the car windows of all the nature, and Molly sitting in the car on the drive home. Uh, I did not pose Benix. He did this of his own volition, okay? I, like, put my legs around him, and then he just took his paw and wrapped it around my feet. It's just... It's love, and Lavender's jealous. I don't know if you can hear her over there, but she's making a ruckus because she's jealous of our love on the bed. I'm exhausted, and I don't know about anybody else, but like, I literally don't even have to be cold to use a hot water bottle. I just need comfort. Like, hot water bottles bring me comfort. So, uh, it's been a... <laughs> so, I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you for joining me on this adventure of a day. I had honestly so much fun and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you again to Hawaiian Tropic for sponsoring this video. Please, 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 please be sun safe this summer. Please buy sunscreen. You will not regret the mineral-based Hawaiian Tropic one. Oof, girl, the scent alone is worth it, okay? Uh, so pick that up at your local shopper's drug mart, London Drugs, Walmart, whatever. Pick your fancy. I'll leave some links below where you can purchase it. And I will see you in the next video, but until then, you can click over here to hear why I think disabled actors should play disabled roles in Hollywood, or you can click over here to see my experience on a cruise ship with a service dog. Bye, guys.